Welcome to the creepiest vlog start I could have ever imagined. I set out tonight, I'm in Canada still, and I set out tonight to take a picture of a bridge actually. Not the bridge of where I'm at, but a bridge along the Gatineau River in Canada. The clouds, complete failure, nothing, absolutely nothing, not a cloud in the sky. The color was just so bland. The town wasn't lit up. It was, it was a horrible, horrible picture. I'm not even gonna show it to you. So I got frustrated. I went back to my Airbnb and I Googled covered bridges in the area I'm at. And I found one other. I was just expecting to come out and scout this bridge. And instead, what I found was a river running through this valley in this park off the interstate covered in fog. And I will show you that image now but just absolutely incredible it's obviously very dark out right now i can't see anything but i couldn't be happier with the pictures i'm seeing so far and i'm looking forward to showing you the rest of this bridge during the day so we're back at the covered bridge uh it's a lot less creepy in the morning than it was uh at night with all the fog and uh, it being dark and all so we are set up here. We came out because we saw a fog roll in the town. We just missed the fog here, but we grabbed it in another, in another bridge uh, that you'll see pictures of soon. Uh, so we are set up here because we've got this beautiful field and this morning light kissing the field. You can see the dew glistening in the sun. So we're grabbing a couple of shots of this. We're also gonna take several of our traditional interior shots. Right now we're do using a 24 to 70, uh, going fairly focused on the bridge and the immediate surroundings. When we go inside the bridge, we're gonna switch over to a 15 to 30 and go nice and wide to capture all the detail. And then we're actually gonna do some of the detail shots of the trusses. One of the things that is often overlooked is you cannot take too many pictures at a location you're not coming back to. If you have the time, spend it. Even when you have limited amount of light, use, take the pictures outside when the light is right come indoors when the when, when you've lost your outdoor light and, and shoot. You can't overshoot. You can't come back, so just shoot whatever you need to get and then you can delete later. 